Uh, family to me means um, love, strength, community. Family to us is our whole circle, like all our friends and everyone who's been supportive. Then also I'd say like Boston IBF is part of my family too. I remember feeling that. I remember feeling like if I do this, I'm sacrificing my ability to have a family. Um, and I, you know, I think knowing that there are trans people who have happy marriages and children of their own, I think that's something that people need to know and be aware that that's an option. <laughs> we love Dr. Oh, we love Dr. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we would have chosen another doctor. Um, you just, we felt safe with him. In 1990, I met a gay male couple. They invited me to meet with them and talk to them about, you know, how they could potentially have a family with uh, donor eggs and gestational surrogacy. And at the time, it was not something that had previously been done. And so we were just able to put the pieces together um, and be able to help a gay male couple have children, genetically related children. We're both fully related, which is kind of fun because of yeah. the whole IVF thing. I, hadn't, I don't know if we thought about it tons. Well, Dr. Pang was just, you know, it, it was one of, we were one of the early people, but I don't never felt uncomfortable. It was always mm. just felt like a very natural thing. You felt like you were in good hands and yeah. you felt like this was going to happen. I never, I just assumed I never would have children. You know, obviously that changed once we had kids. It was, mm. you know, made perfect sense and it was the best thing that ever happened to me, all those cliches. I know that I'm one of the older kids with two dads or at least there's a lot fewer kids who are my age and older because it's a lot harder for two men to have a baby than two women. So I just think that it's shifted in, kind of it's become less taboo for gay couples to have kids. What makes a baby? A sperm in the egg. And then where do you put it? In the... Huh? In the birth. <laughs> and what, is, what does mama have? Egg. And um, what does your papa have? Egg. And what, 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 what did you say about our family? She said we're an egg family. <laughs> <laughs> and the transgender man provided his eggs, which we inseminated with donor sperm, and his wife uh, then carried the pregnancy. Yeah, meeting Jane was, was special. It was like meeting somebody that I felt like I had always known in a way. Like, she just was perfect. She was absolutely perfect. Uh, and Dr. Pang is just a wonderful man to help make all of this possible. We, um, we met with different places. We were o really open to very, very um, a, a broad spectrum of different options. And we decided together, why not start where we're gonna be successful? And why not start at, at the finish line? I'm very proud to work for one of the first companies that's very educated in helping out the LGBT community. Boston IVF is really amazing. I wouldn't want to work for anybody else. They really make a difference. So to me, family means like the people who you love. It's people who care for you and like support you yeah. and who are there for you and the people who you get to go home to. And I really feel strongly that I was born in this time frame, had this training um, and in in the right place at the right time to be able to provide this community the services that they need to build their families. Love is love. And love always wins at the end. <laughs> <laughs> That's good.